into the home stretch in conference play. Aurora takes on perhaps the hottest team in the NAC right now as the Warriors of Wisconsin Lutheran make the trip to Thornton Gymnasium. From the campus of Aurora University, it is today's Northern Athletics Collegiate Conference men's basketball matchup between the visiting Warriors of Wisconsin Lutheran College and the Spartans of Aurora University. Hope you're enjoying your Saturday. Settle in as we have a twin bill of hoops today between AU and Wisconsin Lutheran. So the women are set to face off at 4.15 or thereabout after the conclusion of this one. And a couple of massive games with postseason implications on the docket for today. Aurora coming in after a bit of a layoff. Yes, they did have an exhibition contest against Chicago State a week ago and then did not play on Tuesday after their originally scheduled contest with Concordia Chicago was canceled. So the last time Aurora was in NAC play was a tough overtime loss at MSOE a week ago Tuesday. 73 to 69 was the score. Aurora was solid on the glass. Just one of those contests where it was a few plays in either direction that ended up making the difference. Javon McCotcher went for 17 points, nine rebounds to lead four players in double digits for Aurora. And they fell to 12 and seven overall, seven and five on the season. And now have had a bit of a break from conference play since then. So they find themselves at the start of the day in a tie for fourth with Illinois Tech with Benedictine a half game behind them and then Lakewood at Edgewood on the outside of the postseason picture looking in two games back of the Spartans. So the margin for error here with only six games remaining or make that five games remaining in conference play is very narrow here for all the teams right there around the postseason bubble. No such trouble for the conference leading Warriors though. They've won eight in a row. 10 straight in NAC play. They come in at 14 and 6, 11 and 2 on the season. Clinched a NAC tournament berth, the first and only team to do so after defeating Marion on Tuesday night, 72 to 65. Grayson gets 30 points to lead the Warriors in that one. Ryan Breckel went for 22. The Warriors dominated the Sabres in the paint shot the ball well and were able to get away with a victory despite allowing Marion to drain 12 three-pointers in the contest. So the Warriors trying to remain atop the league at 11 and two, 14 and six overall. They can't fall all the way out of first place tonight as they are a game better than St. Norbert. So worst case scenario, they find themselves all tied up at the end of the day, but a very good place to be going into the final few weeks of the season. And of course, the Warriors no longer having to worry about will they get in, now just trying to lock down a first round bye with another eye set on home court advantage throughout the NAC tournament. It's going to be a fun one here for the Spartans, game number 20 of the season on the way here at athletics.aurora.edu.
AU Pep Band with the national anthem. And now we'll settle in for hoops. Thanks for being here on the Saturday. I'm Sean Fry, Malik Van Dyke helping out on the camera today. We appreciate his efforts today. Let's meet the starters first for the visiting Warriors of Wisconsin Lutheran College. It'll be the 6'1 junior from German, Germantown, Wisconsin, Jacob Hefley. A uh, six-foot junior from Kowaskam, Wisconsin, Jacob Stoltz. Out of Chicago, the 6'4 senior, Simeon Strauss. Six-three junior from right here in Aurora, Grayson Getz. And a 6'6 junior from Chilton, Wisconsin, Ryan Breckel. Again, the starters, Hefley, Stoltz, Strauss, Getz, and Breckel for the Warriors, 14 and six overall, 11 and two. In the knack, Aaron Annenson is in year six with the Warriors and has them atop the knack entering the day. Aurora at 12 and seven, seven and five in the league, led by Steve Christensen, the starters today for the Spartans here of AU. The 6'3 freshman from Broadview, Illinois, starts it off, Javon McCautry. Then a 6'5 freshman out of Kenosha, Wisconsin, Trey Jenkins. From Chicago, the 5'9 freshman, Trey Hamilton. A 6'3 senior from Plainfield, Illinois, Justin Wilson. And the 6'7 sophomore from Addison, Illinois, Robert Ruskevich, rounds out the starting lineup for the Spartans. McCountry, Jenkins, Hamilton, Wilson, Ruskevich. For Aurora, they'll move left to right in their gray home uniforms, blue numbers, white letters on the uniform, Wisconsin Lutheran in an all black road uniform, white letter, or right, white numbers, and the Wisconsin Lutheran logo on the front of the uniform, green trim, along with some silver on the shorts as well. Aurora eight and one at home. Been largely very good here on their home floor, their only loss. First week of the new year against Illinois Tech. Other than that, Aurora has held on to home floor. It's tough to win on the road in the knack. And Aurora trying to continue to make it tough. As Ruskevich and Breckel get in for the tip, Aurora wins it and we're off. Man defense for the Warriors to start things off as Hamilton takes it to the left wing. McCautry comes out and gets it behind the volleyball line. Aurora on the perimeter. Jenkins dribbles to the baseline, pulls up for the J, knocks it down. And it's Aurora on the board 20 seconds into the contest, and they will pick up Wisconsin Lutheran with a 1-2-2 at three-quarter court. Trying to get the energy into the defense right away as the Warriors get into it here. Right now, looking like a man defense for Aurora as they start things off. It's a three from Strauss from up top. No good. Wilson pulls in the rebound. The Spartans get a stop on the first possession. Jenkins works it up top to Wilson and now to Hamilton here out on the right wing. He dribbles left to the free throw line, finds Ruskevich, who airballed the 15-footer from the high post. Warriors the other way. Here's Getz. Dribbles up top, pulls up from there, gives it away to Strauss here on the right wing. Looking for Breckel in the post. Matched up with Ruskevich. Lost the dribble, goes to the floor, and rolls out to Hamilton. Two possessions, two stops for Aurora. Hamilton tripped, but kept possession. And then Wilson does well to wait out the defense. Finds Ruskevich underneath for two, and it's 4-0 Aurora here in the opening couple minutes of the quarter. Uh, rather of the half, my apologies. Here's Stoltz with it. Out on the far side here for the Warriors. To Getz. And Strauss left wing. Heaves it across the gym. Stoltz gets a look from three in the corner and pours it in. Warriors on the board just inside the two-minute mark of this one. Four to three to score. And now Wisconsin Lutheran will pick Aurora up full court. But a full court man defense for the Warriors that time. Hamilton to Ruskevich out on the perimeter here. He'll hand it off to Jenkins. That was disrupted by Hefley, who got a hand in there. Ten to shoot. Jenkins bounces it away to Hamilton. Six on the shot clock. Hamilton drops it off. Good look for Ruskevich. Missed the reverse. Rebound tipped a few times. McCautry able to get it to himself 
and then falling away was able to put it up and in. Six to three now. Good team rebounding effort that time. By Ruskevich and by McCotry, who had a nice individual play to finish it off. Now Getz outside the Stoltz. He's cut off there as he tried to drive. Tries it again, swings it out up top. Hefley to the free throw line. Good look to the baseline for Breckel, who missed the tough reverse. Aurora the rebound. McCotry the other way. Had his pass stolen in transition. Here come the Warriors the other way. And Ruskevich got a piece of that ball, but also a lot more of Hefley. And we'll put him on the line. Drew Larson. Michael Mashey and Rory Schultz, the referees here in this one, as Stoltz goes to the line, a 71% free throw shooter. 16.54 left in the first half here. Aurora up six to four after he'll make the first. Justin Wilson, the leading scorer available for the Spartans tonight with 12 points. Javon McCountry right behind him at nine per game. Breckel leads the Warriors with 17 points and more than nine rebounds per game. Grayson gets just under 14. Stoltz averages 11, Hefley just under 10. For a high-powered Warriors offense averages better than 80 per game. Both free throws here for Stoltz are good. It's six to five as Hamilton has it here in the corner for Aurora. Wilson up top. Goes to Hamilton from the right wing and tried to work the ball down into the lane for Roskevich. Well read by Wisconsin Lutheran. It's tipped out of bounds here. Three and a half minutes into the first half. Aurora has led throughout. A lot of basketball left. McCautry able to beat the five second clock and gets it into Jenkins here on the right wing. A head fake, a drive, missed the scoop and the rebound off a tip goes down to Breckel. So the Warriors will look to go in front for the first time in this one as Stoltz brings it across center court. Gets all the way to the rim, missed. A little bit too much momentum to the rack. Rebound tipped to the corner where Jenkins gets it. In transition for McCautry. Off the glass and good. And one. Hefley slid over but did not get there in time. Perhaps was fading a bit as well. So McCautry a chance to complete the three-point play. It's been a good stretch for Javon, averaging 17 points over his last three, and scored in double digits in five straight. Stand corrected, averaging 17 per for his last five, and averaging six free throw attempts per game in that stretch as well. Completes the three point play, five already for the freshman. And here's Getz, jump stop to the block. And good defense there by Jenkins, who was not fooled. So a stop for Aurora. McCautry pulls up for the top of the key and missed from there. And a tough shot. Wasn't able to haul it in. Warriors the other way, and McCautry trying to get back on defense was in the way of Simeon Strauss. And so he picks up the foul. That is Aurora's second. We'll see our first changes here. JT Daniels in for Aurora. And here's Trevor Steedy and AJ Voss for Wisconsin Lutheran. Ball goes up top to Steedy. Gets and now inside for Breckel. Works on Daniels here. That was blocked from behind. Got his own rebound back and then was fouled. Third team foul on Aurora, first on Daniels, and Breckel goes to the stripe. 69% on the season. Nine five Aurora here, 15, 19 left in the first. First free throw goes. Wisconsin Lutheran defeated Aurora at home back on December 17th, 81 to 63, and looking for the sweep. As Ryan Breckel went for 18 points, Jacob Stoltz at 17, 14 for Jacob Hefley, and 12 for Trevor Steedy. And a convincing victory in which the Warriors never trailed. Second free throw, no good, but an offensive board 
for the Warriors. Gets now takes it to the block, and a block called here on McCautry. Just picked up his second foul. So more free throws coming up for Wisconsin Lutheran as they try to draw closer, and we'll see Getz, 67% free throw shooter, get a chance. Aurora had Nolan Boffman and Javon McCautry in double digits in the loss back in December. And what otherwise was one to forget, in which the Spartans were comprehensively defeated in the paint, shot only 35%, and fell to the Warriors for the fifth straight time overall. McCautry to the bench here with 15-12 remaining in the first half. There is Nolan Boffman into the contest. Free throw good here from Getz to make it 9-7 after he missed the first, and the inbound pass was nearly thrown away. Hamilton did well to get the jump on that, bring it in. Into the offense here, man-to-man -man look for Wisconsin Lutheran still. Boffman the crossover and the kick to Hamilton near corner. Not a prolific three-point shooter, so he takes it to the rim. Goes out to Boffman, who looks to break down Voss off the dribble. Missed the jumper in tight, and the rebound for Stoltz, who is fouled 80 feet from the basket. Five team fouls on Aurora now. This one on Jenkins, his first. Warriors will try yet again. Get level or get in front of Aurora. Ball gets inside for Breckel, outside for Stoltz for the lead, and he knocks it down from the wing. That's eight for Stoltz of the Warriors' ten. Good start. After a quiet day last time out at Marion, three points missed all six field goal attempts, but... Trey Hamilton puts Aurora back in front, 11 to 10. Next trip down the floor. So back to back lead changes, back to back possessions. Stoltz going for more. Cut off at the block on the drive. Goes outside for Getz into the lane. Breckel and soft touch there puts the Warriors ahead, 12 to 11. More than six minutes gone in the first half. And Wisconsin Lutheran is picking up Aurora the full 96 feet. Wilson called for a charge. That's Aurora's last foul to give as he pushed off on Voss. So the five here for Aurora right now, Boffman Jenkins, Hamilton, Wilson, and making his first appearance this season, Dwayne Gervier Jr. from Oak Forest, Illinois. He's into the contest and immediately asked to guard the ball here in a bit of a double team. Now flashes up top on Breckel. Out to Getz in the corner, eight to shoot. Boffman now switched on to Getz. Contested shot, no good, and Boffman has the rebound. Take it across the timeline on the give and go. Seven minutes in, first half here, 12 to 11 the score. Wilson, right wing, drives, falls away and is blocked. Voss with the block, Hefley runs onto it, takes it down the floor and lost it. Loose ball though was gathered up by Steedy. It's worked over to Getz for the right wing three. No good, Hefley the rebound. Back to Getz who rumbles to the cup and is fouled on the hip by Hamilton. Couple free throws coming up. Getz split a couple earlier, back to the line again. We'll see Nathan Yaki and Julian Gatewood check in here for Aurora as well as Strauss returning for Wisconsin Lutheran. First toss here from Getz is good. It's like Wilson and Jenkins will come off here for Aurora. Strauss waiting, one would presume, for Getz here. Getz makes the free throw and heads to the bench. 
14-11, 12-33 left in the first half. Inbound turned over. Boffman wasn't able to find Gatewood, and it's worked immediately down to the rim for Breckel, who lays it in, and Steve Christensen calls timeout and is less than thrilled. 30-second timeout here. Let's take a look around the NAC today. Lakeland at Rockford today. A couple of teams on the outside looking in, but not by very much in the postseason picture. Lakeland right now a game and a half behind Benedictine for sixth place. Rockford is two games back of the Eagles. Big one today in Chicago, St. Norbert at Illinois Tech. IIT tied for fourth with Aurora at seven and five. St. Norbert a game behind Wisconsin Lutheran for first. Marion trying to get back on track here. They're at Edgewood. Eagles again with Lakeland right outside the playoff picture. And Marion at nine and three has stumbled a bit in recent weeks. And then Concordia, Wisconsin is at Benedictine. And for CUW, the margin for error is nearly nothing. Have to get a win on the road today. Uh, really keep much in the way of hope. Gatewood, the drive, the miss. Trevier, the follow and the putback. And Aurora makes it 16 to 13. Doing well to crash the boards that time. And ends a scoreless drought of nearly two minutes. Warriors into the half court. Here's Steedy for the right wing three. Off the line, rebound was batted off the backboard. Hauled in by Wisconsin Lutheran and then turned over. Hamilton in transition the other way, missed in tight. Steedy runs onto that rebound. Breckel didn't get all the way back. He had a running start and will be fouled from behind on the way to the rim. Eighth team foul on Aurora with 11.38 to play in the first. Gatewood gives the foul. That's his first. And we'll see Breckel after he split a few free throws earlier getting another try. 22 and six against Marion, third game of 20 plus for him in a row. And now has six after making the first one here. Looks like Getz and Stoltz return to the lineup for the Warriors as Voss and Hefley come off. Second attempt here for the Warriors big man. Too strong, rebound for Hamilton. Yaki here on the left wing. The handoff to Boffman who takes it to the restricted area and got it to rattle and go. Nolan's first points today, 17-15 now, the Warriors lead. As Aurora still going man to man here. Steedy able to find Getz inside. A little contact there that went uncalled, but a good wait out and put back there to restore the Warriors lead to four. Nine minutes in. Here on Lancaster Court today, Aurora and first place Wisconsin Lutheran. Boffman gives it out to Gatewood on the wing. He takes it to the rim and at his pass outside, tipped and stolen. It's Stoltz with it. Swings it outside. Steedy couldn't get the three off and now can't get away from Hamilton. He'll toss it out to Getz up top. He looks to take it to the rim on Yaki and gets it to fall. Largest lead for the Warriors tonight. Six point advantage as Boffman across the timeline for Aurora. Jenkins and Noah Howard set to enter the game here for the Spartans and Warriors respectively. Ruskevich will be coming in for Aurora as well. Boffman to Yaki on the left wing, 10 to shoot. He dribbles to the block, missed in tight. Rebound tipped a few times and is pulled in by Getz, who finds Breckel running the floor. To Stoltz, wide open for three, and it's good. Just past the halfway point of the first half, Steve Christensen calls a 30-second timeout as Wisconsin Lutheran goes up 24 to 15. 11 for Stoltz after the three, seven for Getz, six for Breckel, 
all three of those, the only scorers for the Warriors, and each of them have more than any player for Aurora. Only McCautry right now is on the bench with two fouls, has more than a single basket. Seven-0 run here for the Warriors. And now some work to do. Warriors have not given much up when leading at halftime. Won 10 of 11. Aurora certainly does not want to give them an opportunity to do that. There's a quick three that doesn't fall. Rebound for Boffman who tried to get it inside and saw it tipped out of bounds. Only game that Wisconsin Lutheran led at the break and did not go on to win. You gotta go back a little ways here. And it was December 6th at Benedictine. Two point lead at the break and you could not hang on against the Eagles. Foul here on Howard, the freshman who is whistled. Oh, just the second foul on Wisconsin Lutheran. And we'll see Wilson re-enter the game here for Aurora. So the five are going to be as Gatewood comes back in for Boffman, or rather as Hamilton comes back in for Boffman. Hamilton, Jenkins, Wilson, Roskevich, and Gatewood who's on the baseline. Inbound to Wilson, short corner right side. Along the sideline, he'll skip it out to Hamilton. Man-to-man -man look for Wisconsin Lutheran. Gatewood on the left wing. Dribbles across the top of the key. The ball fake and the miss from the post. Getz runs the floor. Uh, I thought there might have been a bit of a push there on Gatewood that was not called, but perhaps not enough, and that's an easy deuce. Forgets who has nine. Lead is 11, inside it goes, and Ruskevich has four today. 26-17, under nine to play. Stoltz, quick three, good. Again, 0 for six against Marion, one for six from the field against Rockford. He'd missed nine of his previous 10 three-point attempts. He's made all four today. 14. 29-17, Jenkins the pick and pop, Hamilton who tees up the three ball. No good, rebound Gatewood out for Wilson. It will feed Roskevich in the short corner and out it goes near the timeline. 12 on the shot clock. Pick and roll here, it didn't develop. So Hamilton instead goes to Gatewood who knocks down the contested corner three. And Aurora sorely needed that, 29-20. Steve Christensen wanted some pressure on the inbound there. Now having a conversation with the referee here on the near side. Stoltz takes it inside, swings it outside. Strauss for three, no. Jenkins the rebound and a transition opportunity, but he'll drop it off to Gatewood who runs onto it and has it on the wing. Bounce pass to the block for Roskevich. It's double teamed, gets it out to Gatewood who hoists another three but the iron unkind as it pops out. Lead remains nine, 7.30 left here in the first half. Getz looking inside for Breckel, who took some contact. They don't call that, and he didn't hang on to it. Steal for Aurora, Wilson to the free throw line for the J, no, tip back no good either. Loose ball foul on Wisconsin Lutheran. Third Warriors team foul. They'll get Breckel underneath. That'll be his first foul. Voss and Jaquel Chisholm into the contest for his first minutes for Wisconsin Lutheran. Here is McCautry and Miles Twyman from Chicago coming in for the Spartans. So we'll reset the lineups. Aurora with Nolan Boffman re-entering as well. He'll inbound it. Ruskevich and Wilson stay out there. Jenkins and Twyman, the others on the floor here. Inbound to Wilson. Short corner at his pocket picked. And Voss runs on to the loose ball in transition. High off the glass and good over some very tough defense from Jenkins. 
It's Voss, Chisholm gets Breckel and Stoltz the five. And a steal for Wisconsin Lutheran again gets missed inside. There was a lot of contact on the follow by Chisholm. And then a foul on the loose ball that will lead to the one and one here. With 6.48 to play in the first, 31 20, the Wisconsin Lutheran advantage. And Voss goes to the line. 9 of 11 at the line this season. Oh, it will not be the one and one. That's curious. My apologies, not a foul there. They called the touch on the baseline with Aurora standing on it. So it will not be the one and one. It will be an inbound and a miss, though, and Aurora gets the rebound. Wilson looks to take it to the rack, gives it to Twyman. He attacks the rim, tries the tough fall away and didn't find the rim. Voss the rebound. Down the floor it goes for Stoltz for three more, and he can miss, believe it or not. Started four for four from outside. Boffin now across center. 11-point Warriors advantage. Wilson's here on the left wing. He'll toss it to Jenkins. Gets a screen from Twyman. And now to Boffin. Pulls up for the long two here. And that one doesn't fall. That may not have been the shot that Steve Christensen would have preferred in that situation. Gets with the ball. Takes it into the lane, kicks it outside. Voss wants three, and he gets three. And it's a 14-point Wisconsin Lutheran advantage. Here's Wilson, five and a half to play in the first half. He'll pull up from up top. Loves the mid-range jumper, but doesn't get it there. Gets with the rebound for Voss. Looks to feed Breckel inside. Got it to him, and he'll swing it outside. Chisholm for three, no. Offensive board for Breckel. It finds Stoltz up top, and he misses the three narrowly. A couple tries for Voss, then don't go from in tight. Finally, Aurora gets a board. They get it down for Twyman, and then Roskevich steps into a high post jumper, and that rims out. A lot of space there for Aurora to make something happen, but nevertheless, a good look for Roskevich and didn't want to fall. Spartans now just 33% from the field. Inside Breckel, not able to hit from eight. A contested jumper from the lane. Boffman the rebound, brings it out to the right wing to Wilson in front of the Warriors bench. Aaron Anderson having a conversation with the official. And there's a foul here on Chisholm, who I'll say reached in on Wilson. 4-13 left in the first, 34-20. Wisconsin Lutheran in front. John Young into the contest. McContry with two fouls. Hamilton and Daniels re-enter the game for the Spartans. Wilson will remain on the floor here. And it looks like Chisholm coming out for Wisconsin Lutheran. And I believe it's Hefley who has re-entered. So he'll join Getz, Voss, Strauss, and Ephraim Albers, a freshman from Reedsburg, Wisconsin, is in for his first minutes. Aurora in need of a bucket. Have not scored in the last 350. And counting. McCautry tries to end that. His three rims out. A rebound in some traffic was tipped by Wilson inside for Daniels. And the unselfish play for Young, who lays it in for a couple. I'll blow the whistle here to. It might have been a delay of game there. 34 22 the score. 350 left. Now it's Wisconsin Lutheran who hasn't put one in in nearly a couple of minutes. But up by a couple of dozen here in the waning stages of the first half. Gets off the dribble to the rack, and it goes. He has 11, joining Stoltz in double digits today. McCautry across center court for Aurora. Now 
Contry here, top of the arc. Hand off to Daniels, who will then try to hand it off to Hamilton, and was stripped by Hefley. Warriors in transition gets a bit too unselfish there. The spacing was poor, and Wisconsin Lutheran turns it over. Then Young rumbles to the hole, was a bit out of control there and missed. Rebound and the football pass down the floor to Hefley, who hauled it in over the shoulder and laid it in. The Warriors' lead is 16 with 2.42 left. Halftime looming, and Aurora needing a late run. Big screen by Daniels, and they call the foul. Steve Christensen is not pleased with that call. The ninth team foul in Aurora. No free throws here. Warriors will shoot two the rest of the way. Now let's take a look. We have the ability to look at replay. Might have been a little movement there. Ball inside gets. Lost his balance, just threw it up, and the Warriors managed to tip it out to the perimeter and to safety. Then Breckel, oh my goodness. Tough bucket there as he has eight. And it has been all Wisconsin Lutheran here in this first half. On an 11 to two run over the last nearly six minutes. Young in the post for Aurora. Outside Hamilton. He'll kick it to Daniels in the short corner. He drives into the lane, missed the jumper. The rebound comes to McCautry. He gets the hoop in the harm. And despite only playing eight minutes to this point due to foul trouble, McCautry, the Spartans' leading scorer with seven and trying to provide a spark here as Aurora ends a scoreless stretch of more than two minutes again. Second foul on Breckel, so he'll go off here with a minute 40 to play in the first half. 40 to 24, the Warriors lead as McCautry goes to the line. It's to complete the three-point play for the second time. This time he misses, and Albers runs onto the rebound. To Strauss down the left side, and travels. Good defense by Daniels. Stoltz had come off for just a moment. He re-enters and will need to be watched closely. Has had the hot hand from outside for Wisconsin Lutheran here so far tonight. Very important minute 34 here for Aurora, down 16. You can get it inside four possessions. It'll be a very good finish to the half. Got a foul on Voss here, it'll be the Final foul to give here for Wisconsin Lutheran. I think with fouls to give, and you don't have any, that's not a bad one to take, rather than lose your player. So it goes into Wilson in the short corner. He'll take it into the lane and gets the friendly roll off back iron. Spartans once again looking to pick the Warriors up full. Here's Getz. Free throw line. Looks to take it into the lane. And a foul is called. And Steve Christensen wondering what exactly John Young did wrong there. I don't know. And then it looks like there was a technical foul assessed on top of it all. I think that my commentary on this would be, I, I think calling a foul there on John Young rewards what was perhaps not a great decision with the basketball by Grayson Getz. And I think that is, That was likely to be the point of contention. Then, then it looks like a technical foul was assessed on the Aurora bench. There's a minute left, 
And here is Stoltz to shoot the technical free throws. And then Getz is going to get a couple of free throws after he was the 10th team foul. Yeah, again, we have the benefit of replay, and the officials do not, and it is, it is tough. And I do not want to minimize that. Now there's a, another whistle. And they have just assessed another technical foul. Looks like Grayson Getz was assessed a technical for Wisconsin Lutheran, and then John Young was given one as well. So those will effectively offset, and now Getz is going to get a couple of free throws that, again, he was waiting to take after being fouled in the lane. 42-26 is the score right now. We've got a minute left. And Steve Christensen is continuing to plead his case here. First free throw is good. Well, they won't take any of these off the board, but it's an opportunity for Steve Christensen to at least get his thoughts on the matter put on the record. Second free throw didn't go. Lead is 17 here for Wisconsin Lutheran. Gatewood takes it inside and missed in tight. Rebound for Stoltz. Albers to Voss on the right wing, who hoists the three and makes it a 20-point game. Largest lead today for Wisconsin Lutheran. Spartans have the shot clock off. The country off the dribble takes it inside, spun off the cylinder. Rebound for Albers. Good outlet pass to Hefley, who takes it down the floor. Outside to Getz, and now Stoltz, who fought three and instead will step out here. Seven seconds left in the first half. Stoltz wants the three at the buzzer, missed it in tight. The Warriors will lead 46 to 26 through 20 minutes here at Thornton Gymnasium. We'll bring you the halftime totals and go around the knack coming up here at athletics.aurora.edu.
Second half on the way here between Aurora and Wisconsin Lutheran. It has not gone well so far for the Spartans as they trail 46 to 26. We'll bring you those halftime totals in a moment. I'm Sean Fry. Thanks for being with us here on this Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Malik Van Dyke helping out on the camera today. We appreciate his efforts. Let's take a look around the NAC where Rockford very much needing some wins here as they are on the outside of the playoff picture looking in, but they lead Lakeland at halftime 44 to 35 as Kevin Deemer 17 and seven to lead the Regents. Cam Yeager with 12 leads the Muskies at the break. Illinois Tech in a similar position to Aurora, likely needing to come up with some wins down the stretch to hang on to a postseason spot trailing on their home floor to St. Norbert, 35 to 23. IIT, one of 15 from three in the first half. Otis Reale leads the Scarlet Hawks with nine. Balanced effort for St. Norbert. No one has more than six for the Green Knights. Mention that it's been a bit of a scuffle for Marion of late as they got off to a great start in league play but have found themselves having dropped two of their last three, including one to a Concordia, Wisconsin team that's fighting just to remain in contention. And the Sabres trail Edgewood in Madison, 47 to 36, as Jake Schreckenthaler has 14 and six to lead the Eagles at the break. And Tyler Goyen has a bunch for the Sabres, 17. But only four players have points for the Sabres. And then a desperate Concordia, Wisconsin team in a battle of birds in Lyle today leads at Benedictine, 32 to 29. With Freeman Jackson leading the Falcons with 10 points. And Cullen Cosme pacing Eagles with seven points and five rebounds. Here at Thornton Gymnasium, Aurora shot 12 of 25 from the field in the first half, one of five from three, had only two free throw attempts and split them. So 34%, a chilly percentage from the field for the Spartans, while Wisconsin Lutheran was busy shooting 47%, 15 of 32, including six of 14 from deep and 10 of 14 at the line. Offensive rebounds even at seven. Warriors plus four for the game in total. Turnovers, six for the Warriors, eight for Aurora. Warriors are plus six on points off turnovers. Spartans plus seven on second chance points, but Wisconsin Lutheran 12-0 in fast break points. Javon McCountry leads Aurora with seven points. Robert Ruskevich has four. Nobody else has more than a single basket for the Spartans. 16 points, including four threes from Jacob Stoltz lead the Warriors, 12 for Grayson Getz, eight apiece for Ryan Breckel and for A.J. Voss. Jacob Hefley is the other basket. Only five players have scored for Wisconsin Lutheran. That's all they have needed to this point. So the Warriors left to right here wearing their road black uniforms. Aurora in gray going right to left. Warriors start with the basketball and they have their starting five. Hefley, Stoltz, Strauss, Getz and Breckel on the floor and Aurora needs a big rally. Breckel gets the touch in the short corner, takes it into the lane, spins right, goes up and under and missed in tight. Ball goes to the floor. It'll be tied up as he and Ruskevich battle for it. And Aurora's going to retake possession. Spartans have their starters, McCautry, Jenkins, Hamilton, Wilson, and Ruskevich on the floor here. Well, the Journey of a 1,000 miles, or in this case, of 20 points, begins with a single stop, and there you go. Let's see what Aurora can do. They've now trailed seven times at halftime. They've only come back to win one time. That was in an eventual overtime victory against Lakeland. And again, Wisconsin Lutheran 10 and one when leading after 20. Seven to shoot, Hamilton into the lane, up off the glass, back iron, no good. Rebound goes to the floor, Ruskevich battles for it, somehow came away with it, gets the bucket and the foul. So 
the foul's on Breckel. That will be his third. And an and one coming up for Ruskevich, who now has six. It's already a season high for the sophomore from Addison. Misses the and one, and Jenkins was upended, and he was out of bounds. So perhaps that's why there was no call there. Aurora will pick up Wisconsin Lutheran full. They'll try to trap the ball. Hefley does well to get rid of it to Stoltz. Aurora brings the double on him, and calmly works it across the timeline for Getz to Breckel on the baseline. Once again going to work on Ruskevich to his left this time. Good left-handed finish by the junior from Children, Wisconsin. Warriors back up 20, 48-28. Hamilton into the front court for Aurora. McCautry, short corner right side. And a heads up play by Stoltz to take it away from him from behind and then Stoltz Trying to take it inside, lost the handle. And Aurora will take possession back. Well, Aurora has largely been in every contest. Their largest loss of the season was the 18 point loss they absorbed to Wisconsin Lutheran last time here as a charge on Justin Wilson. That's his second foul. Other than that, you look at the Spartans' losses by six at Eureka, by two to Beloit, 17 at St. Norbert, 18 at Wisconsin Lutheran, 12 against Illinois Tech. Oh, that one did not feel as close by any stretch for much of the first half hour. Eight points at Lakeland and most recently four in overtime. We've got a jump ball as that one got stuck. No jump ball, actually. A foul first. It's on Ruskevich. Breckel to the line. One of three Warriors into double figures at this point. And he'll make the first free throw. Second attempt coming up here. They're both good here, and it's 50 to 28. Warriors have largely picked up Aurora the whole way down the floor. Here's Hamilton. Wilson here, high post. He'll swing it across the gym to McCautry, and now Hamilton on the right wing. McCautry again. Looks to take it to the rack. It was blocked. Loose ball tipped a few times, and Warriors come away with it. Gets with the take and the finish. 52 to 28. Not going well to this point for the Spartans, to say the very least. Hamilton takes it to the block, gives it to Ruskevich inside for two. And eight for him. Warrior is able to handle the press, and Stoltz will get to the line for a couple here. Well, the bottom line is that Aurora has certainly been whistled for a lot of fouls. And I think my assessment would be that there were certainly a lot of fouls called in the first half. I think there were some that could have been called as well. First free throw good here for Stoltz, who is 17. But in general, the bottom line is that the free throw discrepancy right now is 17 to 3. And 
At a certain point, Aurora is going to need to make the adjustment or it's going to continue to be Wisconsin Lutheran getting to the line. 54-30 after they both go here. 16-43 to play in the second half. Still time for Aurora to get the comeback here. That one's off the sideline and out of bounds. Did see some substitutions for Aurora. Boffman, Wilson, Hamilton, Daniels, and Gatewood the five here for the Spartans as Steve Christensen just looking for some combination that can make a run. But the lead has not been larger. Hamilton hands it to Boffman up top. He looks to take it inside. Got the floater off just inside the elbow and got it to fall. Strauss takes the long inbound pass, gives it to Heffley who runs onto it on the left wing. Inside for Breckel, uses the rim as defense and lays it in for a couple more as he has 14 and eight tonight. In transition quickly, well not in transition, on the inbound quickly, Aurora Boffin the miss in tight. Offensive board, Wilson and then Daniels, the recipient of the dime from Wilson for two. Once again, Wisconsin Lutheran able to handle Aurora's full court pressure, and here Getz will get to the line after the foul from Wilson. That's his third. Getz with 14 here, make it 15. like Voss and Steedy are in. Heffley and Strauss go off. Second free throw good here. Wisconsin Lutheran 16 of 20. And at the line tonight. Hamilton across center court. Takes it to the block. And we'll get to the line for a couple. Fouls on Breckel. That's number four on him. That certainly is worth keeping an eye on. He has had a large night for Aurora, or for uh, Wisconsin Lutheran, rather. First free throw here from Hamilton, thinks about it and goes. Breckel comes out, Albers is back in. Second toss for Hamilton is also good. Inbound is here for Steedy. Down the floor to Stoltz and then Steedy into a three. It's good. Seven of 15 from outside. Are the Warriors as Steedy has his first bucket today. 61-36. Nearly five minutes into the second half. Boffin across the gym here to Hamilton. Went up and got it. Throws it out again for Boffin. He'll pull up from 10. Doesn't go there. Rebound for Alberts. Gets the drive and kicks Steedy for three more. Line drive didn't go. Rebound for Aurora. And it's Wilson. Down the floor. The drive, doesn't happen there, out of bounds off of Aurora. A little bit of trouble there on the inbound for Wisconsin Lutheran, but the Warriors get on it and get a timeout. Now they'll take a full timeout here. 14.39 left, 61-36, Warriors in front. This is Aurora University men's basketball.
14-39 remaining. Aurora down 61 to 36. And if you're an optimist, you're telling yourself right now that it matters who is in front after 40 minutes, not after 25 and change. Uh, the Spartans have not had many answers. And the Warriors are shooting 50% from the field here to this point in the game. Again, the NAC's hottest team at this point. Eight straight wins overall. 10 straight in NAC play. Two for Getz here. And the Warriors have taken a large step forward after finishing in a tie for sixth in the NAC last season. Here is Gatewood. Turnaround no good. Rebound tipped out to Hamilton. Gatewood gets it back. He'll try to leaner in the lane and it falls. And the Warriors quickly advance the ball down court. Daniels with the steal on Voss. For Wilson, who rumbles down the lane, gave it to Daniels, who lost it on the power dribble. Loose ball comes to Steedy. To Voss. He's thinking about the three. And instead allowed the Warriors to get into their offense. Here's Getz up top. The hesitation off the glass and good. Tough take. Bit of a home game for Getz. Played his high school ball at Oswego East. 17th game that he has scored more than 10 and now in 10 of 11, he's got it into double digits for Wisconsin Lutheran. Here's Gatewood, the straightaway three. It doesn't fall there. And then Breckel, by the way, was on the bench. He has been up over 10, now in 19 of 21. It's been sensational for Wisconsin Lutheran. Going to stop it here on a kicked ball. So Wilson's going to come off. Trevere back in for Aurora. Looks like Jenkins is going to enter here as well for the Spartans. And I believe it's going to be Hamilton exiting. Strauss is in. Get the full substitution here. Heffley in as well as Getz and Stoltz both. Come into the lineup here, or rather out of the lineup. Heffley, seven to shoot. Outside, Strauss, deep three here. Front iron, no good. And then Jenkins got the rebound and was fouled. Fouls on Voss, third team foul. 12.38 left, 65.38 the score. We'll see McCautry re-enter for Aurora. to inbound. Man defense for Wisconsin Lutheran all game long. Jenkins a bit out of control there, but to his advantage this time as the foul's given. Looks like they'll get Albers for that one. That's his second. A couple free throws for Jenkins. Fifty-seven percent at the line this season, and dropping here. Stoltz returns. Steedy heads off for Wisconsin Lutheran. We got twelve and a half left. What so far has not been a particularly memorable contest for Aurora. They do snap a, another scoreless drought of more than a minute and a half. Full court pressure again as they try to trap the ball. Warriors handle that with ease. Aurora has not been able to force any turnovers with that full court pressure. Post entry pass that was nearly directly to Trey Jenkins. Aurora gets the steal there. Gatewood takes it. Free throw line extended to give to McCautry and now Daniels. Jenkins left wing as post entry pass to Dravere was taken away by Voss. Lead is 26 for the Warriors. Stoltz foul. Well, Stoltz, no doubt, has enjoyed playing Aurora. Went for 37 last season against Aurora. 
remains his career high. And then Trevor Steedy, who he replaced a few minutes ago, had 22 against Aurora last year. Those two have certainly enjoyed playing against the Spartans. And Steedy's been rather quiet shooting the ball today, but Stoltz certainly has not. Now is 19, looking to join Getz with 20, and does exactly that. Third time reaching the 20-point mark for him this season. 67-39. Akatri lost the ball in the handoff. It was batted out of bounds by Stoltz. Chisholm in here for the Warriors. Voss comes off. I don't know that we'll see Ryan Breckel again in this one. He's going to be required, unless Aurora has a significant rally. But down 28 at this point of the game is certainly not where you would like to be. Jenkins, the take and the finish. He's got five. Warrior is able to handle the pressure. Strauss a quick three, and it's good. 70 to 41. And Strauss on the board for the first time tonight. Jenkins the take, late whistle. It'll go to the line for two. And that is number three on out. Make that number two on Albers. Twyman and Howard about to enter for the Spartans and Warriors respectively. First free throw for Jenkins is good. 70 to 42 here nearing the midpoint of the second half. Like Daniels and Heffley exiting for their respective teams. Second free throw also good. Jenkins now with seven. Strauss takes the inbound pass, feeds Howard, and out to Stoltz, who will settle it down. Chisholm, three off the dribble, no. Jervier the rebound. As Gatewood takes it into the lane, tries the floater, gets the floater. Twenty-five now, but Albers got behind everyone and will get the bucket on the goaltending. That one was off the glass already when McCautry made contact, so that will count as a bucket. And what would have gone anyway. Jenkins able to tightrope the sideline there and then goes coast to coast. Saw his layup attempt rim out. 72-45. Stoltz for Chisholm here. Steps around a screen, lost the handle. And halfway point of the second half here. Chisholm throws that one out of bounds. Around the neck here. Rockford leading 65 to 50 midway through the second half as Kevin Deemer with a 20 point, 11 rebound, double double. St. Norbert stretching out its advantage at Illinois Tech, 53 to 34. All Edgewood in Madison right now, 64 to 40 nearing the midpoint of the second half. There's a foul called here on Howard. And then a tight one in Lyle as Concordia, Wisconsin leads at Benedictine, 53 to 49 nearing the midpoint of the second half. We'll keep you posted. A few changes both ways. As the Warriors just picked up their final foul to give here in this second half. Jenkins, three off the dribble. Good. Make it 10 for Jenkins. It's the third time he's reached that mark and matching a career high. And Strauss, jump shot and rhythm. Spins out. 
72-48, nine and a half left. McCautry bobbled it and sailed the pass into the post. Aaron Anderson wants timeout. Full timeout here. Let's go Johnson wants to discuss. 72-48 Warriors. This is Aurora University men's basketball. Small run for Aurora here, now down 72 to 48. They're trailing by as many as 29. And trying to come up with a late flurry here to make it interesting, and Jenkins nearly with a steal. Ends up spinning out of bounds, if only narrowly. Aurora lineup, McContry, Jenkins, Boffman, Twyman, and Jervier. Warriors answer with Stoltz, Steedy, Strauss, Gets inbounding, and I think to my surprise here, Breckel, although you can see that Aaron Oninson wasn't really thrilled with Aurora getting a little closer here and wants to try to remove any remaining doubt. Gets with six to shoot, bounces it to Stoltz underneath. Three to get one off, he's in trouble. And Aurora, I think, did everything they could, but Stoltz found a space underneath, made a tough reverse as the shot clock expired. That one would certainly go into the category of particularly deflating. Boffman inside, Jervier lost it on the way up. Gets runs onto it. Went for a career high 30 against Marion earlier this week. Breckel for two. 16 and eight for him. And the Wisconsin Lutheran lead back to 28. 8.15 left. McCautry, one on three to the rim. Gets that. Nine for him. And the Warriors waste no time getting it down the floor. Gets, steps around Twyman. The hesitation, turns the corner, kicks it to Stoltz for three more. Off the line, Strauss the offensive board, and he's fouled. Warriors now plus six on the glass, minus one on the offensive boards, but despite being a healthy minus 13 on second chance points, are also plus 12 on fast breaks and have certainly not been affected too heavily. First free throw for Strauss doesn't go. Gatewood will replace Twyman here with 7.52 left. 76.50 the score. Or a shot at 40% from the field, certainly not terrible, but not where you likely would have needed it to be tonight against Wisconsin Lutheran, who are scorching the Nets tonight, 52% from the field. Never trailed in the December matchup, shot 50% from the field in that one as well. They have not let up in round two as they will seal up a tiebreaker if needed here against Aurora, although they were separated by four games with only five left coming in. So it would have required a lot to happen for that one to even have been in play. 
Boffman goes to the line after the seventh Wisconsin Lutheran team foul is picked up, and Boffman makes the free throw. Wilson will re-enter for Aurora and send Gervier off. Stoltz gave the foul. Aurora also has six team fouls here with 7.32 remaining. Boffman's second attempt is good. Six for the junior from Lancaster, California. Hey, Aurora no longer trying to trap the ball in the backcourt. That was rather ineffective. As Wisconsin Lutheran was ready for it, was not troubled by it. Near steal, gets the spin move and the finish as Jenkins caught off balance there. 79-52, Jenkins, quick three here, good. Career high, 13 for him. Well, normally you don't love the quick possession, but Aurora kind of needing him here. McCautry got a steal and then threw it away. Steedy steps into a three, and that is a painful exchange. 82-55. Jenkins for three more. No good there. As I was saying, I think normally you don't love the quick possessions, but there's six and a half minutes left. Aurora can't work 30 seconds off the clock every time. They need to get shots up and then get stops. And that has not happened. Gets the hoop and the harm here. As the lead back to 29, matching the largest gap between the teams this evening. Looks like Heffley and Voss are going to re-enter. Stoltz and Strauss come off and you wonder if they'll re-enter at this point. Gets for the and one. 24 points tonight. He's made all eight free throw attempts. Uh, stand corrected. Stoltz has made all eight free throw attempts. Gets is now seven for nine. And he comes off for Austin Wagner. It's in for his first minutes. Lead is 30, largest lead today, but only for a few seconds as Gatewood gets all the way to the rim and lays it in. He has nine points. Aurora has a few players just under that 10 point mark. A lot of volume, though, from three players for Wisconsin Lutheran. Breckel looks to add to his total and cans the three ball there as he has 19. And he's a point away from being the third 20-point scorer tonight for the Warriors. Jenkins takes it into the lane outside the Boffman. 88-57, five and a half left. Jenkins the take, the miss, rebound for Voss. Heffley to Steedy, near corner. To Heffley again, he'll rumble to the hole. Dropped it off, Breckel, he's fouled underneath. Now only those three players, 19 plus, perhaps soon to be 20 plus. For Wisconsin Lutheran, the only players in the double digits tonight. AJ Voss does have eight. But Breckel trying to join the 20 point parade here after 22 against Aurora in December. Misses the free throw. You'll see Yaki and Cameron Davis, the former Samanok Bobcat. Mike Wilson and Jenkins coming off here. Heffley is out of the game. As Noah Howard has returned for the Warriors. 513 left. 88-57, Warriors in front. Second free throw doesn't go either. Breckel, a quality free throw shooter as well. Contested jumper from Gatewood is good. And 11 for the Homewood Flossmore alum. Warriors worked the ball down the floor and then Wagner turned it over. And 
Gatewood, that's the pass here on the near side. Spins to the block, off the glass, no good. Voss the rebound. When you look at the remaining schedule for these teams here, Wisconsin Lutheran with a large one on the agenda on Tuesday. There's a three from Steedy that doesn't fall. St. Norbert on the matchup. John Javon McCautry for two, and it got stuck in the bottom of the net. I don't think I've ever seen that. Counts. And Wisconsin Lutheran already defeated St. Norbert. In their 2023 opener, 66 to 61. So the Warriors can come up with that victory. That would give them a two game lead for the conference lead with two remaining. And actually, now that I think about that, would put them on the cusp of locking up a postseason bid. Pending results from Marion. And when you start to get into a three way tie situation, things can get a little interesting, but actually because the Warriors have already defeated Marion in their only matchup, a win on Tuesday would seal the conference title for Wisconsin Lutheran as they'd have the full tiebreaker in that situation. It's a steal by Gatewood. Or at least that's according to the math that I'm doing in my head, so we should always wait to hear from the league office for sure. 88-63 here after a lay-in for the Spartans. Three and a half minutes remaining. It was Gatewood who now has 13 to match a team high with Jenkins. McCautry has 11. Here's another miss for Wisconsin Lutheran. But then Illinois Tech at home a week from today and at MSOE, the remaining schedule after that St. Norbert contest. So a number of games here down final few weeks against teams in the playoff picture and trying to stay there and the Warriors have been very steady throughout the first stretch of games there again 10 straight wins in conference play after not the start that they were looking for at the very least Back-to-back -back losses in their second and third conference games against Edgewood and Benedictine hit their stride shortly thereafter and have not looked back. Steedy at the line here for two, or rather for the one and one makes the first free throw. And then for Aurora, at Rockford on Tuesday, they've already defeated the Regents. Yeah, and that's a contest that Rockford will desperately need. As again, the games are dwindling for everybody, and Rockford right now is outside of the postseason picture. So Aurora could do some significant harm to their playoff hopes. At Marion a week from today, as the Sabres very much in the postseason picture and trying to wrap up their berth. Home to Edgewood here on Tuesday, February 14th. Aurora's already defeated the Eagles on the road. Edgewood again will be very desperate. Will they still be in the postseason hunt by that point? Again, they're right now a game and a half out. Gatewood for three here. 2.43 remaining. And then Benedictine in the finale, and the Eagles right now are sixth. They are the bubble, but on the right side of it. You certainly wonder what will it require to make the field. Howard for three and one. So have, he'll have a chance to go to the line here. Rockford is hanging on to a lead with 3.07 left against Lakeland, 78 to 69. It would be a huge victory for the Regents if they can hang on. Looks like St. Norbert's going to keep pace 
with the Warriors. They're up 68-45 at Illinois Tech with three and a half left. Edgewood up 20 with five and change to play in Madison over Marion, 75 to 55. As the last couple of weeks here have made things interesting for the Sabres. And with 90 seconds left, Concordia, Wisconsin clinging to a three point lead at Benedictine, 65 to 62. Here's Cam Davis at the line, 207 left for Aurora, gets the friendly roll in the free throw. Young, Yaki, Boffman, Gatewood, and Davis, the five on the floor for Aurora as Wisconsin Lutheran has brought in some reserves. Sam Zabel is in. So is Cole Hardke. Just picked up the rebound. Wagner, we saw earlier, remains in the game. Ben Lubbers has checked in, and Cole Biesterfeld in as well. A miss, and then out of bounds off of Aurora with a minute 53 left. 93-66, the score here. So the Warriors are going to get the front end of today's doubleheader. And then the women's team for Wisconsin Lutheran will try to complete the sweep in an enormous contest today in women's basketball. It's coming up. Inbound and a quick three from Lubbers doesn't go, but an offensive rebound for the Warriors. We'll see a line change coming up here for Wisconsin Lutheran. And we'll get it right now after the travel. So it's going to be Dakota Dyke into the contest. So is Peyton Morotic. We've got Brian Ritterout. like Noah Wiles and finally missing one here there we go Daniel Frosto Young with the ball in the post in the final 90 seconds here lost the handle rolling to his right in transition the look for two from Moronic and it goes See Jackson Borkart get in here at the next stoppage as well. And what will go down as Aurora's largest defeat this season. One minute to play. Spartans 42% from the field, a respectable 52% after halftime. Uh, not near enough stops today. Here's a three from Gatewood. No, offensive board for Young. He'll miss in tight. So those misses will affect the percentage. Spartans also now 3 of 11 from 3, 9 of 13 at the free throw line. Wisconsin Lutheran up over 52% from the floor, including 11 three-pointers made 42%. They were quite warm from 3 today, 22 of 30 at the line. Rebounds 43 to 32 in favor of Wisconsin Lutheran. Warriors at 16 turnovers to 15 for the Spartans. Plus 12 on second chance points for Aurora, but plus 12 off turnovers for the Warriors in this one. Shot clock will be off here after one last miss. Spartans have Trey Jenkins, a career high 13, and then 13 more from Julian Gatewood, plus 11 for Javon McCautry. Eight apiece, Robert Ruskevich, Nolan Boffman. Four points for Trey Hamilton. A couple points apiece for Justin Wilson, Dwayne Javier Jr., JT Daniels, John Young, and one for Cam Davis. 25 points to lead the Warriors and all players for Grayson Getz. 22 points for Jacob Stoltz. Here's two more for Aurora with five seconds remaining. 19 and eight for Ryan Breckel. Eight points for Trevor Steedy and AJ Voss. Four points for Simeon Strauss, a couple apiece for Jacob Hefley. Ephraim Albers, Peyton Marotic, I missed three from Noah Howard in there, but either way, a 95 to 68 victory for Wisconsin Lutheran in this one as they led for the final nearly 35 minutes of the contest and moved to 15 and six on the season with their ninth straight win and 11th straight victory in the league. 12 and two to remain in first place alone in the NAC. Spartans drop for the second straight game. They're now seven and six in the conference and 12 and eight 
overall. And as I mentioned, for the Warriors, a big one on Tuesday at home against St. Norbert at 7 o'clock. Aurora heads to Rockford for a 7 o'clock start on Tuesday as well. But the postseason picture beginning to become clear. And with Aurora only playing at home one more time. And they return here on Valentine's Day against Edgewood. When we are next back here for AU Men's Basketball, we'll have a much better idea of who the six will be in the NAC tournament the final week of February. Big thank you to Malik Van Dyke for his help on the camera. Let's stick around. we got more basketball coming up. AU Women's Basketball starts at 4.15 as these same two schools will face off again. A couple of teams tied for second in the next standing. So it will be a very big one here. But again, the final 95-68, Wisconsin Lutheran over Aurora today in AU men's basketball. My name is Sean Fry. Thanks so much for watching. And join us next time for Aurora University men's basketball here at athletics.aurora.edu.